Hey guys, so this is me after this whole vlog happened and I realized I never really filmed like an intro thing and it was a little confusing I feel like so I wanted to do that. And also I realized that I hardly filmed anything for this day and I was like this is only like a four minute video so and it's like super random stuff. This vlog is of me at a fundraiser with Courageous Faces Foundation, which is an organization that I've been working with for the past few years. Well, volunteering with, and I'm one of the champions of the foundation. Um, and so that's what this fundraiser thing is for, and I didn't really explain that at all. And it's super random. So, yeah. Um, that's what you're watching. Okay, so... <laughs> it feels so awkward. I don't know oh, why. <laughs> okay. We're at Festive Cup Coffee and Boutiques. And the coolest stuff here. So much fun. And they have coffee drinks <laughs> and pastries. There you go. Yep. So <laughs> this is Trish, who's the founder of Courageous Faces. And our second mom. <laughs> um do you want to talk about Courageous Faces at all? I think you should, because okay. you do it very well. Well, <laughs> so focus it on you. Okay, yeah. so. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, I explain, yeah, I'll, I'll just. Walk, I'll walk away for a minute. You just go, you just talk. Okay. <laughs> they first came into my life when I was still in high school and they invited me to this gala and it was like a whole weekend thing and I met everyone and I remember I was so nervous the first time I met all of them but they were all like super nice and welcomed me into their family um, and now we're all super close friends and I met one of my best friends, uh, Hannah, which, hey Hannah, if you're watching, I know you asked for a shout out in the last video so here it is. Um, yeah, she's become one of my best friends. She even came out for her birthday earlier this year because to like celebrate with me and my family and it was super fun and courageous faces. So basically what they do is they help people with rare and severe medical conditions with just like everyday type stuff that people usually don't think about. So like for me, when I moved into a new house, the house wasn't wheelchair accessible, so they got a wheelchair lift for my house and they got the shower uh, redone. <laughs> so, um, so I have a roll-in shower now, and, which is a lot better because I ended up getting a bladder infection because my bathtub, like I was sitting in a bathtub rather than a shower chair and sitting in the bathtub gives me infections and I was in the hospital for like eight days so yeah so they provide support throughout like our whole lives pretty much like it's not just like a one and done type thing like with like most organizations are kind of like that but it's not and it really is like a family and everyone because they have so many differences and unique differences that we all kind of relate to each other so yeah so we're currently at the um, one of the fundraisers that they're having there was one last week that I was gonna vlog but I completely forgot about it when I was there and Trish reminded me today so thanks Trish um, yeah they also like provide um, support for work and all those kind of things. I feel super awkward filming in public right now, but you know what? I gotta get used to it somehow. Um, so yeah, so they did like a public speaking training with us for a weekend. It was all the um, like older champions of the foundation, it's what they call us. Um, and yeah, it was like a weekend workshop thing that we all did. Um, it was super fun 
and we learned public speaking skills and then we also just did fun things like we went out to um, the Cheesecake Factory and went shopping and just hung out at the hotel and it was super fun. But yeah, I just love everyone part of this organization and I honestly don't know what I'd be doing if it wasn't for them. Like, they give me stuff to do and make me want to help people. So yeah. Okay, they have some super stuff here and it's kind of cracking me up. I low-key really want this. I think it's super funny. They also have some really funny cards, but I can't show these them on, um, on this channel because they're kind of inappropriate, but they're very funny. They have like, so much stuff, it's kind of overwhelming, but it's all like super cute stuff. So, I think these mugs with the bikes are super cute. And this with the little, like, elephants. Yeah. Um, they also have, like, a lot of mermaid stuff, which I'm like, oof, I want it. But I'm, like, trying to film while also the elephants out. See? super cute stuff and I want it all but I don't even like have my own house <laughs> all right so now as you can see it was super random stuff it was super short because I got distracted and just didn't film like you heard, I mentioned stuff about like mermaid stuff. I never showed you that because I got distracted talking to people. I guess I'll just explain to you what I did after the fundraiser and all that. Um, and I kind of want to make a better video in the future of me just talking about Courageous Faces because I didn't do a great job in this clip because I was like super awkward and uncomfortable filming in public and people were watching me and yeah. Um... So basically, after the um, fundraiser, we just stayed, we filmed a little video because they had a raffle where you could win prizes and we picked names for the raffle um, and then just hung out at the um, little boutique slash coffee shop, which it's super cute. So if you live like anywhere near Denver, you definitely should check it out. Um, I got like a chai tea latte there. Um, it was iced with coconut milk and it was really good. After the actual fundraiser, we left and um, then me, Trish, um, Trish's sister Dee, who also works in um, with Courageous Faces, she, uh, her and then Indonesia, which is like a friend of mine and like everyone from the group is friends with her and her family and they're super sweet um we went to dinner at Costa Vida which I think it's a chain so you might know it but it's really good and then Dee just brought me back home and funny story that I'll share with you guys so I'm film right now this is me like the day after the fundraiser so yesterday I decided to wear my contacts and what I di do every morning is, or every t whenever I shower, I just stick my glasses in the little like mesh basket thing that's under my chair. And then once I get out of the shower, I'll put them back on and um, go about my day. But since I wore my contacts, I kind of forgot my glasses were under my chair and I never took them out because I started like rushing to leave. And I lost my glasses I came home and I was like getting ready for bed and I was um starting to take my uh, makeup off so I took my contacts out and makeup off and then I went behind me which is where I usually keep my glasses to grab them and they were gone and I was like oh my gosh where did I put them so I start searching everywhere 
for them. I told my mom, and she's searching all over there for them because glasses are not cheap. And I was stressing out, and I was like, maybe my nephew took them, but he was already asleep. And I was like, maybe they're in my brother's car because he dropped me off at the event. They weren't there. So I started texting Trish and then also like D and Barb, which I don't know if I mentioned Barb. Barb um, also works with Courageous Faces. and I love them all so much. But um, I was like, have any of you guys seen my glasses? I think they could have fallen out when D put my chair in her car. Like, I don't know. And so that um, D in the morning checked her car they weren't there and Barb then went to um, festive cup to I think she had to pick some other things up there and then she also looked for my glasses and she found them all in one piece and I was so relieved um yeah I was like freaking out but she texted me in the morning she's like I found them it's a Christmas miracle that they're not broken and I'm like yeah Thank you. Um, but yeah, so that was really nice for them to like go looking for them. And then D tonight stopped by and dropped them off. And yeah, I was super relieved. And my sister, when D came, she's like, what would you do without these people? Like, and I'm like, honestly, I don't know. I probably wouldn't survive. So yeah, that's a little fun story of me stressing out <laughs> I'll try to get better at vlogs um I am going on vacation part of my family we're going to Disney so I'm gonna try and do some vlogs there and hopefully I'm better at it by then so I guess this is good pa practice also um in the f next few weeks I'm probably gonna try to do some videos of me preparing for vacation and see what it's like to um, be in a wheelchair and have all these medical issues and traveling with all those medical issues because there's lots of supplies that is required so I'm gonna do some of that it's super late now and I'm gonna go to bed um, thanks for watching subscribe to my channel like comment hit the notification bell and share bye